What's a Leah and Brad trip without a bushwhack? Leaving from Midge Lake, we would paddle south to Black Lake through the Miramoki wetlands. This section used to be an official route, but low water has made travel difficult in recent years. Heading north, we would paddle and portage to Gamatagama Lake before attempting to loop back via the Anjigami River. Travel on the Anjigami would be completely unknown, as it is not an official route with established portages. So we're in Lake Superior Provincial Park. We're paddling down from the very hard to pronounce uh, Min Jimungshing Lake. Uh, we're trying to get down to Old Woman Lake. We're following what used to be a fairly popular route, uh, but the park office and the maps have said that because of low water levels, it's not recommended to travel down uh, the way we're going right now. It can be fairly low water and it can be a tough slog, but that's kind of what we're looking for. Let's see if we can kind of retrace this newly lost route. Gorgeous sunny day in Lake Superior Provincial Park. Luckily for us, the water levels were high enough to float our canoe, and travel to Old Woman Lake was accomplished with ease. A few easy portages shortly had us on Black Lake, leaving us with ample time to relax and take in the splendor of the Lake Superior interior. So we we're trying to find our way into Gamatagama Lake and there was supposed to be about an 800 meter portage indicated on the map just over there on the shoreline but we've uh, made our way up this creek for quite a ways further than the map would suggest. The portage should actually be somewhere back in there and we're about maybe 400 meters into the supposed 800 meter portage. Anyways water levels so far are pretty good about a foot to half a foot deep and we're able to uh, make our way up this creek. Save us some portage. <laughs> Despite a few strenuous portages, we made quick progress and soon found ourselves drifting along the shores of Gamma to Gamma Lake in search of a perfect campsite. Tomorrow would bring the unknown of the Anjigami River descent. Would there be water? Would there be portages? Is it passable? Adventure awaits. In the meantime, we had the entire lake, 
to ourselves. Today is going to be a little bit of an adventurous day. We're going to venture off the known routes here in Lake Superior Provincial Park. We're trying to link Gamma to Gamma Lake with Mi Ji Ning Meng Xing Lake via the Anjigama River. And uh, as far as we know, it's seldom traveled, but I think it's been traveled. I found a bit of information. Some people said there might be a few unmaintained portages. And actually, as we come out of Gamma to Gamma Lake here, there's a nice little 10 meter short lift over portage. It's kind of wide and clear. There's an old bottle there. So evidently someone has come through this way before. We don't know where we're going. We're bushwhacking through the forest. You can just like line it down. We get past those. So no portage. Uh, bushwhacking down the river. The bush is fairly open, so not too bad so far. Let's see how it goes. water down there so now for the hard part we got a bushwhack down the river there's a big beaver dam there's some waterfalls rapids uh, we're not going down via canoe at this point in time so either we miss the portage or it's evident that many people don't come down here but uh, we got our packs over now the hard part get the canoe over see how it goes The upper stretches of the Anjigami River was full of deep, clear water, but the paddle was frequently interrupted by bushwhack portages around numerous unrunnable rapids and log jams. The water. Soon, the water ran out, and the Anjigami was reduced to a mere trickle, guarded by thick bush and encroaching alders. There's absolutely no water. This is not an advisable route. There's a reason it's not included in the park pamphlet. But you know, it's only mid-afternoon and we're going strong. The water's right there. It's been a good day so far. A final push across a floating bog mat had us back on Midge Lake, where open waters and an easy paddle back to the launch awaited. The Anjigami is certainly not a recommended canoe route but provided the challenge we sought and up the difficulty of an otherwise easy canoe trip into the expansive interior of Lake Superior Provincial Park. Mm -hmm.